Everyone is talking about OpenAI's Codex. It is the most popular AI coding tool out there right now. But what if I told you, you're only using it to 5% of its total capabilities? In this video, I'm going to show you five tricks I use with GPT-5 Codex that will have you building faster than you ever have in your entire life. Whether you've never vibe coded before or you're a Codex master, I promise you, you're gonna learn some new things in this video. So let's lock in, leave a like if you want more content like this, and let's get into it. Before we get into the five tricks, I just wanna do a real quick overview of Codex. If you're familiar with Codex, feel free to skip to the next chapter down below. But if you haven't used Codex before, here is a quick overview on how it works and how to get it set up. Codex is a cursor in Claude Code competitor. It is an AI coding agent, but there are a few very key differences that make it very unique. The first and biggest thing is that it is cross-platform, meaning you can spin up tasks for for your AI agents, not only from the IDE plugin like you see here, this is similar to your Claude code or your cursor AI chat. So not only can you spin up tasks from your IDE, but you can also spin up tasks from the web. So these are all connected. You can spin up tasks from your IDE, go to the web, build out a new task here, hit send, that's connected to your IDE, that will send tasks there. And on top of that, there's even a mobile app. So there's Codex on mobile. This is right in your chat GPT app that you already have. So if you're signed up for Codex, you can even open up your mobile app and code on the go. You can create brand new tasks on the go from your mobile app that AI agents in the cloud will build out for you. The best part is you can start work on one and finish it on the other. So if you're creating new tasks in the IDE, you can actually click here and pass it off to the cloud. And if you're super busy and started a task on your computer, you can pass it off to the cloud and continue it on mobile and pass it off and continue it in your web browser. No other AI coding tool out there can do this. This is incredible and adds so much convenience to your AI coding workflow. So all you need to do to get this set up is be signed up for ChatGPT, download the IDE extension. So if you're in Visual Studio or if you're in Cursor, download the extension for Codex and then you're good to go. Then you can open up Codex on your ChatGPT app, spin up tasks from there. You can go to chatgpt.com slash Codex, spin up tasks from here. They're all connected and they can pass off between the different platforms. That is huge. That's really convenient. That's the main difference between Codex and all the other AI programming tools out there. So that's your overview of Codex. Let's get into the five hacks for getting way more out of Codex. It. So the first trick I want to show you with Codex that you need to be doing is actually not in Codex on the desktop at all. It is actually Codex on mobile. You need to be using Codex on mobile. The biggest differentiator between Codex and all the other AI coding tools out there are the cloud agents that Codex uses. You can spin up AI coding agents from wherever you are, whenever you are on any device you have. If you're not taking advantage of this, you're missing out on so much productivity. If you adopt this trick, you're gonna get so much more done. Every night before I go to bed, I spin up at least two to three new AI agents to work on my app while I sleep. So for example, right now I'm working on this open source to-do list that's gonna have a whole bunch of really cool features that anyone can use. Part of this organizational tool is a to-do list that I want to improve. But typically, as it gets late at night, I turn off all my stuff, I go to sleep, but while I'm sleeping, nothing's getting done. Here's the trick, you want to every single night put out at least two to three cloud agents that will work on your app for you while you sleep. So before you go to bed, think about a couple new features you can add to your app and spin up new cloud agents to work on those features. And this is how you set it up. In the chat GPT app, hook up Codex to your GitHub. This will enable a lot of this new Codex functionality, including the cloud agents. Once you do that, you can click on this plus sign here on the mobile app and spin up new tasks. So before I go to bed, I challenge myself, okay, I need to have two to three cloud agents working while I sleep. And because of this, I'm getting so much more done. So you create your new task, you come in here, you say, I want to add priority levels to all the to-do list items. 
You make sure your GitHub repo is selected. So this is my to-do list repo. You make sure you're on the right branch and you hit send. And what that's going to do in Codex is spin up this new task. So before I go to bed, I'm spinning up at least two to three of these tasks. So that as I'm walking into my bedroom, I know when I wake up, I'm gonna have a lot more code finished. I'm literally vibing in my sleep. So this is my challenge to you for the next week. Spin up a couple agents every night before you go to bed. I promise your vibe coding projects will grow so much faster than you can imagine. Trick number two, hire AI agent employees to work on other parts of your project. So these cloud agents aren't just for coding. You can have them do anything you want with your project. As a one man building machine, I like to spin up agents to do other parts of the project, like my marketing, like my landing pages, like coming up with new ideas, like being my product manager. I'm not just spinning up agents to work on every part of my business. So I'm back in Codex inside of Visual Studio. This is the Codex plugin you can download for free. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure we're running in the cloud. In Visual Studio as a plugin, you have two options, run in the cloud or run locally. That's how you'd use any other coding agent. We're gonna do run in the cloud though, because I wanna spin up some employees that are gonna work for us while we do this. And I'm gonna say, please come up with an entire marketing campaign for our app. This needs to be landing page and email marketing campaigns as well as tweets. I'm gonna hit send on that. And if we look over here inside Codex, you can see actually there it is. There's that cloud agent we just spun up to create a marketing plan for the app. So that's gonna write us an email marketing plan, landing page, tweets. We now have a marketing employee that's working for us. So as you can see, now I'm in the Codex web app. Again, this is what's so cool about Codex. It's a web platform, it's a mobile app, it's inside your IDE, it's a plugin, it's a CLI, and they all talk to and hand off to each other. So we can start giving it more tasks here. We can say do competitor research on other to-do list apps and we can set hit send and now we have an employee doing competitor research so the trick here is is you want to use codex as like your employees for your business think about your business if you're a solopreneur like me who would you hire you'd hire marketers you'd hire people to do competitive research i mean let's do this let's hire a product manager to work for us and come up with new ideas for the app we can say come up with five new ideas for our app. And we send that to the cloud and now we have a AI project manager working for us. So the trick here is this, don't just use Codex to do AI coding for you, use Codex to run your entire company, spin up employees in every division of your company and have them work for you in the cloud. You will get so much more done than you can possibly imagine. The next tip I want to go over is getting multiple versions of every feature you build. Not many people know this, but when you're in the Codex web browser version, this is only in the web browser version, you get this neat little feature right here, this neat little drop down. What this drop down does is give you multiple versions of whatever it is you ask for. This is crucial for UI components that you're gonna build out. Typically, I'm gonna be honest with you, AI, not good at user interface. It doesn't really look pretty by default, but if you have the AI build out multiple versions, let's say four versions of something, your odds of getting a nice looking user interface go way, way up. So when building out UI components, you wanna go to the web browser version of Codex, chatgbt.com slash codex, and you wanna make sure you drop the, you use this drop down and you use four versions. So again, I'm building out this to-do list app. I want to add a Pomodoro timer to the top right here. So let's see, let's get multiple versions of this timer. Please add a Pomodoro timer to the top right that looks beautiful and can be started and stopped and paused at any time. So I'm gonna hit send on this with four different versions and what the AI is going to do now is they're gonna spin up four AI agents that are gonna work simultaneously and they are going to build out this feature for me and give me multiple options I can choose from 
when building this out. No other AI coding tool can do anything like this. This is going to give us a way higher chance of getting beautiful, beautiful UI. As this is working, if you want more content like this, make sure to leave a like down below. And also if you learned anything so far, make sure to hit subscribe and turn on notifications. All I do is make amazing content on building with AI. So I went into the task and you can see here each version being built out by the different AI agents in Codex. This is so cool. It's so cool what OpenAI is doing with this, giving you the ability to have your own AI agent employees in the cloud. Shout out OpenAI. I hope every other company does this too. I'd love to get this in Claude Code and every other coding tool. All right, looks like it's done. Look at this. It displays all four versions to me. So we're on version one. There's the Pomodoro timer in the top right. It gives us this really nice preview version. So it's hosting the app in the cloud. We can see what it looks like in a nice preview version. That's, that's okay, that's a pretty good start, stop, that's nice. Let's check out version two. Okay, a little bit smaller, a little bit more scrunched. Uh, not sure I'm a fan of that one. Let's check out version three. Okay, even smaller, but I'm kind of liking actually that compact version, the way it's set up. And now let's see version four, the most compact version. Okay, so the way they did this is they made sure each one was different. They started with a large one and a super compact one. I actually think I like the super compact one. Let's compare with version one again. Yeah, the version one kind of pushes everything down and is weird next to that button. I like this compact version up here that we can start and stop easily. From here, I can just create a pull request, review the code, and it is good to go. Spinning up agents in the cloud to make you multiple versions is such the way to go, and there's no other tool doing this, so I really like this. Make sure to leverage this in the web app version of Codex. So the next trick I like to use is having a nightly security review check. This is one of the big issues with vibe coding right now is a lot of people are shipping insecure code code that has vulnerabilities or issues and they don't know about it. If you are newer to vibe coding, this is a trick for you. Every night I come in here, I go into Codex, usually on my phone, I'm using the mobile app for this, but we can do this on the browser version and I say, please, review my entire code base and do a full security check. Give me three recommendations for improving security. I send out this agent every single night and this ensures that my code stays secure. And when I wake up in the morning, I can check in on the work it did to see what vulnerabilities it found or what I can improve. Again, this is really, really critical if you are newer to Vibe coding. People are going on apps online that were Vibe coded and searching for these types of vulnerabilities so they can bring your app down. So the next trick I wanna show you is coming in here and every single night going on your app or going in the web browser or in the IDE plugin and just sending out in the cloud an AI agent that does a full security check and gives you three recommendations. It will give you three recommendations. It will write code to patch your security vulnerabilities and you can commit that code when you wake up in the morning. So security checks, regular nightly security checks are great. And if Codex had a way where I can schedule agents to do tasks like this, and I'm gonna say repeat every single night, I would love that. But for now, I would highly recommend every night sending out a security agent to validate your code. The last Codex hack I want to show you, and this one is awesome, is automatic code reviews. Every time you commit code, to your repository, Codex will actually do a double check review of all the code submitted. It'll look for performance enhancements, it'll look for ways to improve the code, and this all is done through their auto code review that you have to turn on, you have to turn this on. If you're watching this anytime shortly after this feature was released, this was just released, you can find on your main screen here, enable code review, click this, Go in here, search for your repo. So we're on my to-do list app, so to-do log. And then under here, click the dropdown and do review all PRs, all your pull requests, and turn that on. That is off by default. We wanna turn this on. And now what's going to happen is every time you create a pull request, 
Codex is going to review that code. So let me show you an example. We're gonna go into this Pomodoro timer we just created. We're going to choose one of them that we are going to add to the app. I'm gonna choose this one here. I'm gonna create a pull request for this. What this is going to do is, is create the pull request in our repository. For those that are newer to GitHub, this is basically gonna be a request to add this new code to our code base. And what's going to happen is when I click view the pull request here, it's going to open up. And as you can see here, Codex actually went in and is now reviewing the code inside this pull request. So it's re-reviewing all the code it just wrote for this Pomodoro timer to make sure it's optimized, to make sure the code is good, and to make sure we're submitting the best code possible for our feature. This is going to be huge for reducing technical debt. Your code will be more optimized, it'll be more efficient, and you're gonna run into way less issues in the future. So if I go back into the Codex browser here and I go to code reviews, which is this new section right there, you can actually see that it is currently working on reviewing that code. So we can see in the cloud right here, the AI agent is working in reviewing that pull request to make sure it's good. So before you merge any code into your main branch on GitHub, you want to make sure Codex goes in and reviews every single pull request. This should be a normal part of your routine when you're building app. And again, this will make it so you're future proofing your app a ton and you're not going to run into any issues in the future. If you implement all the tricks I just showed you here, I promise you, you're going to be writing way more code with Codex and you'll also be writing way better code as well. You'll be more productive than you ever thought you could be before. If this was helpful and you want more content, content like this, make sure to leave a like down below. That shows to me you want more Codex style content like this. I want to know which one of these tricks were new for you as well. So let me know down in the replies, which one of these were the most helpful for you. I'm also going to be releasing something brand new in the next month, month and a half. So make sure to sign up for my newsletter as down below. So you stay on top of that. I hope this was helpful. Subscribe, turn on notifications. All I do is create amazing content on using AI and I'll see you in the next video.